Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Lisa Renee TV. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so today before you leave. Make sure to thumbs up the video if you do like what you see and to share, share, share on all your social media networks that you happen to be on at this time. Hello and welcome back. <laughs> welcome any newcomers as well. If you're new to the channel, I hope you do um, find something today to be inspired by and I hope that you do subscribe before you leave and that you thumbs up and share the video. All right, without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so last video, you know that I did a review of the Hinge app. So, and I, I did say to you all that I, I might be reviewing some other dating apps. So, um, as promised, I am reviewing today the Hilly app, which stands for, hey, I like you. So, uh, pretty clever. I like it. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I uh, got on Hilly. Haven't been on it that long. Um, I got on it... Um, not too long ago, I just kind of was playing around with it, just trying to do a simple review of just how the interface of the app is and the ease of use and, you know, is it efficient, how it works. So as far as the setup, the ease of use, efficiency goes, that was pretty much, I will say, yeah, we give it a four out of five. It wasn't, it wasn't bad at all as far as like the setup. Um, now, as far as when you set up your profile, like with Hinge, there's no bio, it's only questions. So with Hilly, it's a little bit different. Um, you do put in a bio, however, the bio, um, it seems like the bios are shorter. Like they're, they're not, they're not really asking you to give a really long novel of your life. Um, so they, they try to encourage you to keep it short and simple, which you should always do anyway, as just a, just a tip I want to throw out there. But anyway, um, yeah, so there, there is a bio, there's a few other traits of your personality, like your um, Zodiac sign, um, do you like pets, do you smoke, do you drink, do you have kids, do you want kids, things of that nature. So you're just going to put the, just the basic thing, it's very basic. Um, and it's, it's very quick to the point. Um, they don't necessarily make you finish your whole profile before contacting anyone. Um, they encourage you to finish the profile, but they don't make you finish it 100% before you can get contacted or before you contact anyone else. So that was a plus. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it is set up, it's set up kind of like Tinder where you have to swipe left and swipe right. And, you know, it's kind of got that whole setup going, which I don't really prefer that. I don't know if you all like that, but I do really like <laughs> the Tinder setup. Um, I don't like it for women. I don't really like it for men either because I think it encourages them to, play the numbers game and, and do a lot of fishing around and then I don't like it for women because it kind of encourages that shoot your shot kind of thing and I'm like I'm not shooting anything <laughs> you know so uh I I don't I don't really particularly prefer the tinder setup so um anyway what I noticed on there um and, and just not even just on there, but like in, in other sites as well that I've been on in the past is the same problem um, all around. I think what, you know, what it comes down to is that it's not the sites that are the problem. It is the people that's the problem. Most of the men, I'm not saying that it's, it's not some women on there that have some issues. It is. I've heard from, I've heard the male point of view where, you know, women are not so intentional about their reason for being on the site. They're playing around. They're playing games. I, I believe it. I do. But I think the men, they lack intentionality. You know, like they really, I mean, it's like a severe chronic lack of intentionality. So much so that it hurts physically. You know, I'm like, what is going on here? You know, what is happening? You know, you know, and, and it's like, it's like they have no, no, intention of one to commit now i can understand if you are seriously not not seeking a relationship you just want to have fun there's nothing wrong with that but 
you know, be real about that from jump and, you know, stop, stop pretending like you want a relationship and you're not looking for one, you know, and you're not willing to put in 100% effort. When you say to a woman, yes, I'm seeking a serious relationship, she's going to expect you to pursue. You got to. You said you wanted a relationship. So act like it. So <laughs> I just can't stand it, especially these so-called Christian guys who say, you know, they're Christian, but it's like they're not embodying the characteristics of Christ. And, you know, like maybe in some areas they are, but in other areas where it really matters, they don't. <laughs> so that's another thing, you know, that we, another problem that you run into with online dating and probably within real life meeting as well. But definitely with these online sites, I mean, they either have a weird fetish or now let, let me break that down. Like, I have no problem with somebody who has like a fetish or they have a fetish is just something that you like. So it can be sexual or non-sexual, you know, something that you prefer. So I don't have a problem with fetishes. I don't think they're, you know, ugly or sinful or, or anything like that. I think they're just fine. You know, it's something that a person can't control. I mean, it's like me. I love Chinese food. I mean, okay. You know, <laughs> so, so what, right? You know, who cares? You know, so I don't I don't have a problem with it. Um, but I think um, if a person is trying to, I guess, explore that side of themselves with you too soon, that can be problematic. Um, it's either that or they, they're wanting to get physical in some sort of way with you like it may not be sexual right off the bat but it could be i want to give you a massage like i had this guy wanting like give me a massage he just kept talking about it uh, obsessively so i knew it was a big deal for him and it, it was she was trying to make it lead to something else like he wanted me to send him pictures and it just was like really weird you know so you have things like that like they, they want to be physical in some kind of way they want to kiss you you know you have guys who they they want to know do you like kissing do you like to be held or touched or whatever it is because it, what the main objective is i want to be physical with you in some in some kind of way you know but it's like those things are great but at a certain time though like i need to get to know you first before we go down that road you know like we should be focusing on getting to know each other as people first you know, and seeing, first of all, we even, like, suitable for each other, you know? <laughs> like, whatever happened to that? Like, even trying to see, do we even belong together before you talking about, let me give you a massage. <laughs> I'm like, why you want to massage me now? Let me rub your feet. I'm like, why you want to rub my feet now? I'm like, you don't know, you don't know me. I could be an axol killer, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you have no idea who I am. I could be crazy. You know, you could be crazy. I don't know you, you know? So it's like the old fashioned values have gone right out the window. And it's like that make it hard to build a solid black family. If that's your goal, that makes it real hard on you as a woman to try to build a, a solid black family with a good black man, a good Christian black man. You like, yeah, that's a fairy tale, you know? You like, it's like finding a unicorn or something, you know? It's like they're, not, they're almost non existent, you know? Because when you find one, you think you found one. He, what's wrong with him? He wants to uh, get physical with you in, in some sort of way. He, he's going to come off real, you know, real nice and gentleman-like at first. And all of a sudden, he's going to spring it on you, you know. And you're like, oh, Lord, he wants to massage me. God, he wants to rub my feet down. Oh, he wants to kiss all over me. What is going on, you know? I don't know. I think it's like a... Um, it's like a lust spirit. That's what it is. That just came to me now. So I, that's why I think that that is like the men. The, I don't know if it's like just black men or it's like all races of men. But I know Christian men are dealing with like lust a lot. And I'm not saying Christian women aren't. I think they are too. But that's a strong spirit. And I think that that's what's going on. And they don't know how, they don't even know half the time they're dealing with it. Or they do know, and they maybe they enjoy it in some kind of way. And they feel like instead of me going to God about it, I'll just find a woman who is just as afflicted as I am. And if she's willing to, you know, commit sexual sin with me, then I'm all good to go. You know, she willing to go and 
go into debauchery, <laughs> debauchery, then, uh, you know, why the hell not? You know, like she, she want to, um, you know, play down her morals and the standards, then, hey, I'm willing, you know? So I, I think it's, it's time for women to start warring in the spirit and praying for these men, you know? We got to do something, ladies, because that old spirit, that old lust spirit is strong on them. You know, uh, if we haven't, if if now, if um, if there's ever been a better time to pray, it's now. So I think <laughs> we're going to have to come together and start praying for our men if we want these good, solid, strong black families and we want good, solid Christian black men. We have got to do something. <sighs> my gosh <laughs> oh lord help us all help us all anyway but that's the hilly app <laughs> if you want to try it out you can download it on uh, the app store for ios or your google play store for android it's up to you <laughs> if you want to try it if you do try it out let me know your experience because i know every in, every experience is individual so let me know maybe you have a great time on the app you meet somebody awesome you know, everybody's not the same. So, you know, definitely let me know what happened in the comment section below or hit me up on social media and let me know what's going on. But other than that, you guys have a great rest of your day. I will leave all the links that you need in the more info box below, including the link for my latest novel, Long Way to Love. If you have not picked up a copy, make sure you do so today. <laughs> All right. And by the way, I hope y'all had a great 4th of July as well. <laughs> I did, definitely. So I hope you guys had a good time. But anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Stay safe. Bye.